Hello, this is Joe from MBS Australia. This video is showing you how to publish your specifications and check your publish history and then upload any MBS style sheet you may want to use for branding of your own specifications. So I'll demonstrate with the interior spec for my Beach Street project. So I've got all clauses listed here, which go all the way down to systems and products. Um, I can Obviously, filter by typing in anything in there to perhaps filter down just the tiling systems. But in this case, I've got my prefix used for works packages, which makes it particularly handy to organize all the systems and products I've got in here, especially if I sort by systems and I can see all of the, all the works packages or trade packages there. It's a very handy way to use prefix. Suffix you can use as in house codes, but either are completely open for you to use as you need to in your company to identify various things about your project. So using the actions button, as is often used for various functions in MBS course, I can tick all of the systems I want or remove any with unticking them. Use the actions button and say publish selection. So there are four steps at the top of the screen here you can see to um, punching out a specification. Um, I'll choose a PDF copy. You can do Word, obviously it gives you the option of editing afterwards, but it's best to do a PDF copy of this revision. Um, and these two options are particularly crucial just to note that on the single systems here, you can see each system will start on a new page and clauses that are shared by more than one system will be cross-referenced. There's a really handy live links within the um, output document just to be able to click around the document instead of um, having several clauses printed many, many times if you've got the same plasterboard or any building elements there. So to the next stage is just to compare. Now, just a few moments ago, I published this specification already and I've called it the doc one, two, three. As you can see, it's through the interiors for information, first revision, just a few minutes ago by myself. So I can choose to compare with that one if I want to uh, show what has changed. <clears throat> and here are my publication details that I've already entered. So of course, this would usually stay the same. You could add any notes that you want to, but in this case, publication revision, go for number two. And then the style sheets. Uh, so the style sheets are company branded options that you can put your own colors or perhaps company logo onto, uh, onto your spec. I'll just open that link and come back to it. Um, also within your organization settings, um, you can organize permissions as to who can do what within the platform. So that will be available to change as you need to. So when that link opens from the support articles, there's plenty to talk, talk about here. Uh, this particularly takes you to the um, downloading MBS custom style sheets page where there's lots of very handy tips and instructions as to what you need to do to download your own template and then apply it to your specification. So plenty of good information there. As you can see, there's also the forums um, page where you can actually get involved with some of the discussions or kind of um, suggestions that you can use um, when you find something that you think would be a, a good addition to the platform that's always welcomed by the product developers. Uh, so I'll come back to solutions. Uh, the overall styling page here has a huge amount of information here. As you can see, the knowledge base has lots of different uh, sections listed here. And within each one, for example, I'll just look at the styling the specification. Lots and lots of options in there. So for example, customizing your style sheet. There's again, plenty of screenshots and videos and lots of information there as how to, um, how to make the, the uh, front page and the branding of the specification particularly suited to your company. So I'll publish that and just show what the output is. That will export all the systems along with um, the products that are in my specification at the moment. And it only takes anything between kind of 10 and 20 seconds to punch that out. And I'll be able to open that up and just show where the uh, live links allow you to jump around the document pretty easy. And you've uh, published a specification in only just a few minutes. When I open the spec, you can see that's got the same information I had from just a moment ago on the publication page. Now, this is where there's a very handy gray, uh, orange, or green update to say if anything's changed. So, for example, the internal floor tiling systems, I can jump down to there to see that's been revised. As I mentioned, these are all live links. So, I've got the ceramic tiles listed here. I can perhaps jump to ceramic tiles number one and see that's all the details I've entered for it. That's been revised. And the live links also work with some of the execution clauses here. So perhaps I'm going to fixing tiles or fixing skirtings. It takes you straight down there and you can jump back up to the top of the page, hit the home button. 